Well, hello, my name is Charlie Arbuso. I'm going to be a chemistry teacher. And uh, this is the very first Zoom of this new school year. I don't, I don't want to do too many Zooms. I, I hope we're going to be live all the time, but I thought this might be a good thing to do by Zoom. Uh, this is the first day handout. Not everybody likes to read, which is, which is not good, right? Reading is fundamental. Reading is my middle name, Charlie Reading Arbuso. Uh, that's not really true. Okay, but here we go. This is the Regents Chem first day handout that you're supposed to read. Hello, my name is Charlie Arbuso, and I'll be a chemistry teacher. And I'm very, very happy that that's going to be the case this year. This handout is going to go through a lot of the rules, the expectations, and all the stuff you're supposed to know. You should save it so you can refer back to it. Your parents should see this today also. They're actually supposed to sign that they they look at it, um, and it's on my website, which I'll talk about later as well. Well, you're already on the website. You know about it, I guess. Um, so you can, you can look at it again. So here we go. Uh, we're going to study chemistry. Chemistry is the study of matter. Matter, of course, as you know, is stuff. Everything that is anything is stuff. So we're going to study everything. <laughs> There's no end to what we're going to study. We're going to study everything. Now, the truth is... Silly as I am right now, um, with this pretty picture in my background, uh, this is going to be the hardest class you've taken in high school so far, no doubt, okay? Unless you're just a terrible student, which you aren't because you're in chemistry. But chemistry is really the most difficult class of all. It's going to seem fun, it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of homework. There's going to be a whole uh, periodic table full of symbols and numbers. There's all kinds of funky formulas and weirdo units. Um, you got to pay attention. You have to do your work. You got to stay on top of it. It's not enough to be smart, right? You're all smart. You're in chemistry. Congratulations. You're smart. But now you got to practice, right? In order to, to win the Olympics in a race, you don't have to be fast. You have to be fast in practice. You have to start right. You have to, to end right. You have to hand off the batons right if you're in a relay. There's a lot of things that go into it. It's not just you're smart. You have to do the work. So this will be a hard class. Some of you may struggle, I'll help you, right? I will always help you, don't you worry about that. Now, if you don't stick with me, you're gonna fall behind. And I go pretty fast, there's a lot to learn, right? Chemistry is a really, really big class and we only have 180 days and who knows what the heck's gonna happen with this whole pandemic business. But um, my plan is to cover a lot of material in 180 days. And you will become very smart. You're going to learn a lot. I'm going to push you, and you're going to learn. You have to learn. So a couple of things quick. It says here, if you have no free periods in your schedule because your parents and you think you're so smart, you're going to take nine classes a day, that's a bad idea. You need to have some time off. You need to have lunch. You need to have fun. You need to have friends. You need to get tutored. Maybe you're going to need tutoring in American history. Maybe you're going to need tutoring in Spanish. You know what? Some weeks you're going to need tutoring in chemistry. When are you going to get tutored if you have nine classes? If you have a completely packed schedule, it's not a good plan. All right, trust me. I've been doing this a long time. Right? I know what I'm talking about. I want you to do well. You want to do well? You got to have a free period. You got to rest your brain. You got to come in and get help when you need it. So that's not a good setup. So get on that. Next, I'm going to be fully prepared every day. I have notes, I have handouts, I have paper and pens and calculators and reference tables. I am ready to go. I am psyched. I have labs, I have equipment, I have chemicals. I'm going to be ready to go. You can't be late. You can't come to my class late. You're going to miss some, right? You can't come and not have paper and a pen. And if you don't have a paper and a pen, you got to ask me. Don't sit there like a knucklehead, right? Say, hey, Mr. Buso, I need, some, I need a pen. I'll give it to you. But don't wait. You have to be prepared. And it's okay to not be prepared. Get prepared. Come in. Come in and say, I need a calculator. But I have calculators. I have paper. I'll give you anything you need, but you got to ask for it. You got to come in and you got to be ready to go. You got to have your homework done. If I say do this homework, that means I need you to practice it so that tomorrow, when we're ready to go and I'm going to teach you new stuff, you're already good at the old stuff. If you think you're going to do homework only once in a while, you're going to get in and out of holes all week long. You're never going to feel good, right? Your hair is going to, your hair is going to get gray like mine, right? Mine got gray because I'm old. 
You don't want gray hair now. You're in high school. Who are you going to go to the prom with if you have gray hair? Oh, my gosh. I can't even believe I said that. Okay. Um, what else does it say? You need to fully participate. Right? You got to raise your hand. In fact, you don't even have to raise your hand. You can call out the answers sometimes. Just don't call them out all the time. If you think you're talking too much, you probably are. But I want you to participate. If I call on you and say, yo, whatever your name is, because I don't know your name yet. What's the answer to this? You're allowed to say, you know, I don't really know. That's a good answer. But that means pay attention when somebody else talks or when I explain it. Because you're supposed to know. I am going to ask you questions you can't know the answer to because it's fun, right? Hey, how you doing? You know, what is the atomic weight to mercury? Okay? But you never get in trouble for not knowing. You, you get in trouble. You don't even get in trouble. But you get in trouble for not trying. You don't have to know everything. If you knew everything, you wouldn't be in this class. You'd already know it. You don't know anything. That's okay. I'm going to teach you to think about chemistry. I'm going to teach you to understand chemistry. I'm going to teach you the mathematics in the chemistry. You don't have to know anything, but you have to try. You have to try every day. And every day you don't try, you got to try three times as hard tomorrow to catch up and over the weekend. All right, next. Ooh, this is good. You may not use your cell phone in class. No cell phones. I hate, here's my cell phone. Look, it's right here. I hate my cell phone. You know what? I hate yours even more. Your cell phone distracts you. I can leave mine over there and not look at it. It's not going to bother me. Okay, I'm not, I don't need it. I don't have to touch it to make sure it's on. I don't have to see if somebody texted me because I don't really care if they texted me. I understand you're different. I understand it's a little more connected to you. Your cell phone, it's not a calculator. Mine has a calculator. Yours probably has a calculator. Can't use it for a calculator. It's a cell phone. It's distracting. My calculator does math. Your phone does math, but my, my calculator, it never says, hey, you want to meet for lunch and pizza later? No, my calculator never distracts me. You can't use your cell phone in class, all right? And if you're a parent, please, don't text your children when they're in chemistry or any other class. Leave them alone. Give them the independence you hope that they have when they, they're going to grow up. They have, to, they have to be okay. They'll be okay. When you guys, your parents, when you were in high school, there's no such thing as that. I had no cell phone. You had no cell phone either. Somehow here we are. Now with parents, don't text your children. All right? Not when they're in school. Let them be in school. Give them some free reign. Let them be free range. There's a good new, new vocabulary. Free range children. Let them go to school. Let them learn. You can talk to them later. All right. Don't use your cell phone in class. Please don't test me on this. All right? If you use your cell phone in class, I'm going to give you detention. I'm Mr. Happy. I hate your cell phone. Next, I love being a chemistry teacher. There's nothing else in the world I would rather do. If I won lotto and I was a gajillionaire, I'd still be a chemistry teacher because it's so freaking fun. Chemistry is great, right? I don't want you to interfere with me teaching chemistry. I don't want you blabbing over there and not paying attention, right? Pay attention. Treat me with respect. Treat each other with respect. I will treat you with respect. My class is never going to be silent. I actually like when you talk and you say, hey, what are you doing over here? How do you do this math problem? What are you doing? What do you think? But if I need your attention, I'm not going to snap my fingers at you. That's rude. But if, hey, if I need your attention, hey, listen up. That means be quiet for a moment. Pay attention. Right? This is not like me against you. I feel like in, in many ways, I'm the coach of the chemistry team. When you guys succeed, I succeed. I can't succeed without you. And you can't succeed without me, right? If you could, it wouldn't be chemistry class. They just throw a book at you and say, hey, you learn this when you have some time. Read it in the bathroom. When you come out, you'll be smart. That's not how this works. I have a part. You have a part. And we have to work together. Next, I have a website. It's my name. I have a hard name. I'm sorry. It's called Arbuso. R-B-U-S-O. A-R-B-U-I-S-O. And if you go to my website, Arbuso.com, A-R-B-U-I-S-O, Dot com, the entire class is there. All of the handouts are there. All of the notes are there. All of the lab reports are there. All of the homeworks are there. All of the Zooms from last year are there. So if you, uh, you don't understand class today, you can go back and watch last year's Zoom and pick some of the stuff up. Now, the notes change a little. I always update my stuff. So the Zooms from last year that are on my website, you can watch the whole class on Zoom. They won't be exactly correct. They'll be like 98.5% correct. 
Correct. Hey, ask some questions then, right? I skipped the problem or added a problem. You know, what are you going to do? It's not perfect. It's constantly evolving. But everything's on the website. Everything. I don't even have a file cabinet. So if you lose your homework, you can print the new one out. I'll give it to you. I'm going to hand it to you on paper. You're going to do the homework. You're going to, I'm going to hand you the notes. You're going to write on them. If you lose them, you can print them again. That's how I get them. I print them from the website. You have to print them too. Right? It's all there. That's important. Next, my cell phone number. All right, my cell phone number is on the website. Here it is, 607-727-3865. You are allowed to call me whenever you want. Whenever you want, right? Now, here's the deal. If I'm having a nice romantic dinner with my wife, I'm not going to answer the phone, especially because I'm not going to know who you are. You're not in my contact list. Your name's not going to come up. You're going to be some random spam call. But I listen to my messages. And when my, my romantic dinner is over, I'll listen to the message. And, you know, if you've got a question about atomic weight or atomic uh, electron configurations or whatever it is, I'll call you back. You don't know how to do homework number six? I'll help you, I'll help you do it. All right? You can call me anytime you have questions, 24 hours a day. At night, I leave my... See it is? I'm in my, my little dining room here where I'm hanging out. I leave it down here. I sleep upstairs. You call me at night, not even going to bother me. I won't even hear it. But I'll catch it in the morning, and I'll call you in the morning, and I'll answer your questions. You can text me, too. That cell phone, like your cell phone, you could text me. I'm not so good at texter, and sometimes your questions are going to require formulas or exponents, things that are hard to text. It's always easier for me to talk to you. You can text me. I'll try to text you back but I'd rather talk to you. Also, I said it before, you're not gonna be in my contact list. I don't wanna know who you are. Call me up, say hello, my name is Joe, I'm in your fourth period class, can you help me? Yes, I can. Yes, but I won't know who you are. So don't forget that, right? Be, be smart. Who are you? Tell me, when you text me, this is Mary from period seven. Okay, Mary, I'll help you. Next, extra credit, no extra credit in chemistry. If you're the kind of kid that needs extra credit, this class is too hard. You have to do your work. You have to do it when it's supposed to be done so that you learn it so you can learn the new stuff that's coming tomorrow. There's no extra credit. None. Period. That's it. Next. Late work. You have to hand your work in when it's due. If I say your homework is due tomorrow, it's due tomorrow. Now, if you don't hand it in tomorrow, then maybe you're absent. If you're absent or you broke your leg or you have appendicitis or it's a religious holiday, Whatever the legal reason is, of course you have more time. Of course. If you come to me and say, oh my gosh, my dog ran away, my family's all crying, I couldn't do my homework, I'm compassionate. You're allowed to have a day. You can only have your dog run away a couple times a year, though. I'm going to pay attention. If you tell me your dog ran away, I'm going to ask you his name. I'm going to pay attention. So your dog can only run away once or twice. If you got a problem, I'll help you. I'm accommodating. I will negotiate. But if you hand in work late, you're going to lose points. Right? If it's not on time, it's late. Late means minus two, minus three, I don't know. A couple of points. Hand it in on time. Exams and tests. This is good news. I don't give any exams and I don't give tests. Nobody likes chemistry tests, right? Who the heck to take a chemistry test? I don't even want to grade them. But every few weeks, in order to, to show me that you're learning, we all sit far apart from each other. I give you a paper. There's a whole bunch of questions on it. I ask you questions. You tell me the answers. You write them down, and I collect them, and I grade it. It's called the celebration of knowledge. We're going to celebrate how happy we are for knowing all this stuff. So celebrations we have all the time. There is one exam in chemistry, I hope, right? They said we didn't have it the year before we didn't have it. It's called the Regents exam. Let's hope we have a Regents exam, all right? Fingers crossed. Who the heck knows what's going to happen? You know what? I don't know what's going to happen, and neither do you, and neither do your parents, and neither does the principal, neither does the governor. Nobody knows. Hopefully, hopefully, we have a regents exam. But otherwise, no exams, no tests. An occasional quiz, no surprises, right? They don't like surprise quizzes. Some people like them. I don't like them. But we do have celebrations of knowledge, and you get to celebrate. Now, listen, you do your work when you're supposed to. You study like I tell you. It's going to be a party. You're going to be like, oh, this is easy. This is easy. This is easy. And it's going to be no problem. You're going to be so happy. And if you don't do your work when, I'm, when I tell you to do it, it's going to be a party you wish you didn't come to. But you got to come. Next. 
grading. This is how we grade stuff. Of all the things you do, not everything is equal. So I put all the grades in the grade book and it's got sort of a proportional component. The celebrations, 55% of your grade. The homework only counts for 10%. So if you're gonna never do anything, if you never do homework and everything else is perfect, you still get a 90, right? But if you never take any celebrations, the best you can get is a 45 on the report card. That's crazy, right? So celebrations count a lot. Homework's 10%. Uh, lab reports, extremely important, 25%. And then classwork and participation, anything else I can think of, squeezes in for the last 10%. So all of the grades go in, but not all of them count so much. Now, my uh, grade book is on, what do we call it now? It's called eSchool, or is it called School Tool? I'm sorry, School Tool. They change it once in a while. You can, you can check your grades on that, on the computer. Parents need a password, but you can check your children's grades. You sign in in their name or your own name maybe, with the password, you can see their whole grade book for every single class. You can know exactly what their grades are. So if they say, hey, I did more homework number three, check the grade book. If, if you give it to me, I grade everything that day. Hardly ever does stuff take a day or two to get in. That's usually 100% current. I mean, not to the minute, but by the end of the day, I look at all the stuff you give me and say, it's my job. I gotta do it. So I do it, that's what I do, that's what you're supposed to do. So I will grade it, put it in the grade book as soon as possible. Also parents, call me anytime you want. We're halfway done. Here are the class rules. Now these are really important to me. And you know, we're gonna go through them right now because it's important. Number one, no matter what your story is, you have to do the chemistry. I don't care what happens. I don't care if your dog runs away, you break your leg, you get sick, you get religious holiday, whatever. It doesn't matter. Everything boils down to you have to learn the chemistry. Nothing can take that away. Sometimes it takes a couple extra days. Sometimes you get days off. Sometimes you go on vacation to Florida because your parents have to go on vacation in March when it's a school day. It's all good. Learn the chemistry, no matter what. Number two, you are not allowed to disrupt class. You can't be blabbering. You can't be texting and talking on the phone, things like that. All right. I especially can't stand your cell phone. Be prepared every day. Paper, pens, notes, reference table, calculator. And if you forget something, I got it. Don't sit there like a knucklehead. That's twice I said that word. That's a, that's a word from Queens. I grew up in Queens, a place called Ozone Park. Do not sit there passively, right? I need something and ask for it and I'll give it to you. Next, don't dismiss me. Class is not over till it's over. Most days I'm watching the clock. I will end 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds early. That way we can tell a joke or something. I like to tell jokes, show pictures, listen to music. Sometimes I need 10 or 15 extra seconds, right? I need you to stay in there and hang in there. I'm in charge about when class is over. Don't, don't shut your books. Your handwriting must be legible, right? Most of the stuff we're gonna do, you're gonna write. I don't like typing, I don't like calc I don't like computers. I want you to handwrite stuff, make your own graphs with a ruler and a, and a Graph paper, no copy and paste, none of that stuff, okay? Unless your IEP says you can't write. And I actually had one student now. I've had 1,400 students in my career, 1,500. One kid, one, this child cannot write. And had a person to come in and take notes for them, right? Now I print the notes for you. You don't even need to do that if you can't write. But you have to be legible. If I can't read it, it's wrong. I don't even care, right? Part of this deal in school is you got to follow some rules. If you can't, if you can't write capital F, lowercase e, F E for iron. If you write lowercase e, little e, well, it's wrong. I don't care. Fuck. F E, that's not iron. Capital F, lowercase e, that's iron. You have to write, you have to follow the rules. Next, we're going to respect each other at all times, right? I'm silly. I will tease you once in a while as I get to know you. You can even tease me back. Respect. We will never disrespect each other, student to student or student to teacher in either direction. I will never, ever, ever disrespect you. Never. And I don't expect you to disrespect me. I don't expect it. I'm not, I don't even know why I'm talking about it because you won't, but just in case it's official. Next, copying from your friends or copying off the internet is called cheating. Copying sounds like C-O, but it's really C-H for cheating. 
If I catch you copying, that means you cheated. That makes it totally wrong, right? You copy stuff off the internet, you're not learning, you're cheating. I'm gonna tell your parents, okay? If you cheat on a celebration, oh my gosh, that happened once. Both kids got a zero, and then both kids came to see me. One kid cried, the other kid said, I'm so sorry, it really was me, it wasn't that one. And so only one kid got a zero. Parents, assistant principals, turned out okay. Wrote the kid a letter of recommendation for college. Turned into a pretty good guy. Don't cheat in my class. You need help, you call me up. You don't call your friend. You wanna help each other? You say, hey, did you get 17.5 grams for this problem? Yes or no? Don't show them how to do it. Don't give it away, right? Sell it, first of all. Tutor, be a tutor. But don't do that, right? Let people ask for help. Ask me for help, I'm so nice. I love chemistry. I really haven't been doing a lot of it the last couple of years. This whole pandemic has made me not so happy. Give me a chance, I'll help you. Don't cheat. Next. Uh, ch -ch -ch. The more classes you miss for any reason. You wanna have band practice? I love band, they used to play the flute. I wish I could play the clarinet, but the, the reed tickled my lip too much. I couldn't take it, right? Anywhere you wanna go, I'll sign a pass. Go anywhere you want. You gotta learn to chem. Rule number one, learn to chem. You miss class for any reason. It's not good, right? Overall, the more classes you miss, the worse you're gonna learn. The, the worse your grade's gonna be, right? It's all about the grades. No, it's not all about the grades, but that's what you think right now. Don't miss class. Next, if you're absent, and come back tomorrow, and tomorrow happens to be a day we're celebrating, too bad. Party's on. You're going to party with us. And here's the deal. You don't get a good grade. I'm very sorry. You could take a makeup, but you don't get to come and sit. You get to come and try. You're supposed to be studying all the time. Usually we finish a topic and the celebration's not for a couple of days. So you should get all the studying in that you need. All kinds of legal reasons. Of course, you get extra time. Any kind of holiday for you, any kind of problem you had at home. Any, I'm very loose about that, but you got to try. That way, if you get a 60, and you don't like it, you come and chase me and say, oh, can I take the makeup? I don't have to catch you. You have to catch me. I'm easy to catch. I'm in my room every day, all the time. I got nowhere to go. I also gave you my cell phone number, but I'm not chasing you. You have to chase me. All right, course objectives. What do I have to teach you? Every day there's an objective in the notes, right? What's the point of today's class? I have to have a point. I have a lot of points. There's a lot of things to teach also. There's two versions of the New York State Chemistry Curriculum on my website. One is called the condensed version, which is just a short zip. This is like the main points, and then there's like the 75 page thing that I have to deal with. You could look at it, it's not a secret. And some of it's repetitive and things kind of weave in and out. The formulas come in a lot of parts of chem. We always learn formulas and balance and equations comes up often as well. If you want, it's there, you can read it. I'll show you where it is. Next, I'm always available, always available. Nine periods a day, period one, period nine, I'm your teacher. After school, I'm still your teacher. Before school, I will be your teacher too. On the weekends, still your teacher. You call me anytime, I will teach you. Now, honestly, it's crazy. I'm not available 24 hours a day. Three o'clock in the morning, I don't give a damn. I'm not up to help you with chem. I don't really care, I'll be asleep. I never stay up till three o'clock in the morning. I used to when I was in college, when I was crazy man, but I'm not crazy man anymore. But I'll help you tomorrow morning. You need help? I'll help you. You can come to any class. It's the same every class. So if you have class first and second, say you come to school late. You can come third and fourth. Now, I don't know what. Maybe you have lunch. I don't know. Or you can come seventh and eighth. You come anytime you want. I'm always open. You're always my student. Come in. Right? When you graduate high school and you're in college, you call me up, send me an email. Hey, I don't know how to do this problem. I'll help you. I'll still be a teacher. Right? I will always be a teacher. I'm always available. Always. Call me all the time. Whenever you need help. Okay? Next, lab reports. Oh, my goodness. Lab is fantastic. I love lab. We do all kinds of crazy experiments. You have to always wear goggles because we've got to be safe. Safety is very important. New York State says in order to qualify for the Regents, you have to do 1,200 minutes of lab, which basically means every lab report's either 40 or 80 minutes long because we either do it in one period or two periods, and we have to count up all the minutes. Now, I have to not only do these labs with you, I have to grade these labs, and then I have to physically hold them. I keep them. I grade them. I show them to you. You must give them back. 
New York State requires me to physically possess all of the lab reports that you pass, right? They have to be passing, otherwise they don't count anyway. You have to pass 1,200 minutes of lab reports. Pass, and I have to have them. So if you pass them and you recycle them or you lose them or something, it doesn't count. You must give me 1,200 minutes of passing lab reports during the year. If you don't do that, you can't take the regents. If you can't take the regents, you can't pass chemistry. You will cry, your parents, I might even cry. I don't care who cries. You have to meet the, the lab report requirement. I will be on top of this and I will say, hey, you did the measurement lab, where is it? Give it back to me. I'll give you detention to make you redo it. You have to pass the labs and I have to get them back. I'll let you see them. You don't get to take them out of the room unless they need work, right? So once you hand it in, I give you a grade. If it's passing, you can look at it. You put it in a special box called passing lab reports and I keep them and I keep track of them on a spreadsheet. If you don't do lab reports or if you keep them and don't give them back, you will not be able to take the regents exam. And this happened a couple times, right? In, in 15 or 16 years now, only a couple times kids did not qualify. Guess what? You get a zero on the regents. You don't get an absent, you get zero on the regents. That's hard to explain when you're applying to college. Also, with the zero on the regents, it's pretty hard to pass the class. So it's just a complete collapse. Lab reports are key. Give them back. When you do them, give them back. Next. If you're absent, and you will be absent, right? Good stuff, bad stuff, whatever. You gotta make up the chem. Rule number one, learn the chem. Do the chem. Do the homework, do the lab reports, do the handouts. Give it to me, it's going in the grade book, right? Bold print, you are never, ever permitted to cut my class. Never, oh my God, I take it like to the heart. If you have to be absent, Right? You break up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Your dog runs away. I don't know. Somebody gets sick. You feel upset. That's, I'm sorry. That's part of life. I will give you the period off. I'll write your pass. You can go to guidance. You can go to the nurse. You can't wander the halls. If you cut my class, I take that as total disrespect. A disrespect to the rules. A disrespect to me. A disrespect to Ken. I write you up. I hate writing people up, but I will. I got to be responsible. My job is to act like your parents. You come to class for these 43 minutes, you're mine, like my own daughter and my own son. You're going to be mine. I got to watch you. I got to take care of you. If you're just a wall, not cool. When you get caught in class, you get detention. I will give you detention if they don't. I don't like it. Don't do it. But I'll help you. You got a problem? I'll take care of you. Next. Parents. Anytime you want to talk about your children's uh, progress in chem, what they're doing, what they're not doing, call me on the phone, 607-727-3865. I'm your man. Just call me up. Hello. How you doing? Mr. Arbuso, call me Charlie if you want. I'll be, my, I'll, I'll be polite. Right? Next. Uh, you can visit me when you're not in class. When I have nothing going on, I'm going to be in a little back room behind my room. I have to share my room for the first time in a long, a long time. We got a new chemistry teacher, and, and he and I are going to share a room. So when I'm not in my room, there's actually a little room right behind my room. You'll see it when you're in the classroom. It's behind the computer. And it's got doors and windows and computer and tables. I'm going to be, I'm going to be in there. I could tutor you in there. Okay? I am always available. You can come see me. We can listen to music. We can play backgammon. I'll help you with Spanish. I'm terrible at Spanish. I'm terrible at Spanish, but I'll help you if I can. I'm, I'm not so bad at history. I read a lot of books, so I can do English pretty well, although I talk with a, a, a rough accent, I could tell. Um, I, I'm good at some subjects. I'll help you, right? We'll just hang out. Backgammon is great. I love backgammon. Uh, if you can count to six, I can teach you to play backgammon, right? Once you get a little good at it, we can bet. I can take your lunch money. No, I'm just kidding but it's a great game. I will play back and with you. you. Just hang out. It'll be fun. Next. This is important. The last paragraph. All right. The very last one. Problems are going to happen. Right? This is called life. Life is a messy, messy circumstance. You're going to have problems. Small problems, big problems. I don't know. I might have problems. There's always problems. I will take care of you. Right? I've been doing this a long time. This is not my first rodeo. Right? I've had students who... Boyfriend and girlfriend broke up. I've had students whose parents got ill. 
I've had students who had to go on a vacation and they didn't want to go on because they don't want to fly. I've had, I, honestly, I can't imagine anything new could happen. But this is the deal. I'm ready for anything. Even if it's new, I'm old. I'm calm. I'm okay. It's only Kim. I will help you. Right? I will help you. Just talk to me. I will help you. No matter what, no matter how bad you think it ever is, it's not that bad. Right? It's only chemistry. Who that cares? Right? My mother never knew chemistry. My siblings, I've got three brothers and a sister. They don't know jack about chemistry. They're all very happy people. My wife's one of the smartest people I know in the whole world. It's terrible at chemistry. I love her. It's only chemistry. It says right here, everything will be okay no matter what happens. I got your back. I will help you no matter what. Okay? No matter what. And I can bend rules. I can break rules. I'm the guy. I'm the teacher. I know it's kind of silly. Look at me. I'm a crazy man too. But I can do whatever has to be done. I will take care of you. Right? Parents, I'm going to take care of your children like they're my own children. I'm going to keep them safe in lab. I won't let them catch fire. I won't let them get stuff in their eyes. I won't let them get in fights. I won't let them have drama. I won't let them play with their cell phones either, though, so don't text them. I will take care of you. This is going to be a great year. I am so excited to be back in school. I'm not too excited about the masks, I have to tell you. I recognize why we need to have them. Look at me. No mask. I'm always smiling. I'm a very happy guy. But I'm going to wear my mask. You've got to wear your mask. You've got to follow the rules. You want to stay safe. I'm so happy we're going to be back in a class. I don't know if we're going to stay there the whole year. I don't know if we're going to have a regents exam. I don't know if we're even going to have a midterm. I don't know what's going to happen. But I know I'm psyched. I know you should be psyched. I know this is going to be a hard class, but I will work as hard as it takes to make you find success. I need you to participate like that, all right? Be with me, right? We're on the same team. It's not me against you. It's us against the world. Chemistry is perfect. It's just, it's the coolest thing in the world. It's got funky symbols. It's almost got its own language. It's got a bunch of math. It's perfect. Our job, even in high school, even intro level stuff works in lab. You'd be like, wow, this stuff really works. You're going to love it. You're really going to love it. And you'll have days where you don't love it, too. I understand. All right? So what? You don't have to love it. You have to learn it. And I'll help you. All right. See you in class. Call me on the phone if you need to. Be prepared. Be respectful. Get psyched. Wear your mask. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. And...